what were some times when you died inside. Once created a painting for a friend, hung it up on the door to my apartment as a surprise. It was easily bypassed. He asked, what's with people around here? You let people put shitty vacation ads on your door. Never again. Asterisk FOR those asking, I live in West Virginia. It was a painting of one of our favorite spots we would seek when hiking. Asterisk THIS happened in Morgantown and it's called Blue Hole. Not really sure of the actual name of the river. He showed me the place. Lots of people go swimming there, but he knew a secret spot. It was a view from the exit of the trees of our favorite area. Honestly, a lot of people had things like that in Morgantown and around the state, which is why I think he easily overlooked it. Asterisk I did not tell him at that time. I was so embarrassed I was glad he didn't figure it out. Eventually I did tell him, when we were drunk, yay liquid courage, and I could see everything click in his head. He was sorry, but we've gotten past it. 6th grade all day field trip to Sea World Orlando. Surprise period through my white shorts. All the moms who wanted to help only had tampons, I was 11, and had no idea how to use them, there ensued an embarrassing crash course. I was devastated, until random dad saved the day, by giving me his windbreaker, to tie around my waist, and told me to, go have fun. Thanks random field trip dad, you saved the day. One night after going to a concert with one of my friends and I dropped him off at his house, as he was getting out of the car, he started looking for something. When I asked him what he was looking for, he said, I think I lost my weed he had about a half an eighth left in a baggie, and gave up, after looking around a bit, concluding he lost it at the show. Cut to 10 minutes later, and I, on the way home, got pulled over for not coming to a full stop at a stop sign. As the cop approached the car, the thought of my friend's lost bag crossed my mind. The cop went through the usual routine, asked for my license and registration, asked where I been that evening, have I had anything to drink, is there anything in the car he needed to know about. I answered everything flawlessly, but then as he's standing there, I see something catch his eyes he's looking in, and he shined a flashlight inside on it, and asked, what's that? I died inside, when I looked over and saw, perfectly framed in the spotlight, my friend's bag of weed on the passenger side floor, how he didn't find it, while looking around I'll never understand. Somehow, I was able to articulate my case, that it wasn't my weed, but my dumbass friends well enough, that he took pity on me, and just confiscated it, and let me off with a warning for that, plus a $70 ticket for the stop sign. When my mother told me on my wedding day not to lose this man, because no one could ever love me. Same day telling me in my wedding dress not to gain any more weight, because if I have a baby I'd basically be fat forever. When I was 14 and super sick one summer I couldn't eat. Was down below 100 lbs. My mom told me I should go put a bikini on, so she could take photos, because I'd never be that skinny again. I had just fainted a couple hours earlier, because I hadn't been able to eat. She just used all her own insecurities all over me my whole life. My husband and I have been married almost 16 years. He has spent our entire marriage undoing all of the damage she has done. He's a saint. Setting. Junior high. Status. Awkward preteen. Style. Liked cats. Very shy. Walked out of the school bathroom. Noticed after a bit, that the popular girl in school was watching me, giving me a strange look. She then approached me, and wordlessly pulled my skirt out of my underwear, that I'd just tidily tucked in with the rest of my uniform. Then just walked away to avoid my shame, as I'd just been walking around with my panties showing. My first serious real relationship, living with the girl and all that. She was basically a tar at the time, and told me about this guy in her class, that she thought I'd get along with well, he's just like you. I meet the guy and sure enough we were eerily alike. Then she calls me at work one day, says she's working on a paper, and asks me some odd questions about STDS. Her questions were strange, and I didn't understand why this paper was so urgent, that she felt she needed to call me at work. I got home, looked through her phone and found where they'd been sleeping together. 
that shit hurt. Once bought a bottle of Pepsi in a meal deal, but didn't have space to put it in my bag. In my infinite wisdom, I decided to pour the contents into my reusable water bottle, so I wouldn't have to carry both bottles. It was one of them bottles that has the straw in it, and you flip the top up when you want a drink. Opened it in a little hardware store later in the day and the gas had built up in the bottle, and it spurted out like a water gun all over the wall and ceiling. I was so embarrassed and tried my best to clean it up for them but all the staff could do was laugh. One of them told me I was stood in the perfect spot for the CCTV to pick it up, and he would be watching it back later. I crochet and my old boss at work, asked me for a scarf. He requested lilac, which I thought was odd, but he was super insistent and even sent me a color chart pointing out the exact shade he wanted. I bought the yarn, and made him a scarf, but then ran into him, and mentioned the scarf again, and he started cracking up saying he was joking. Definitely embarrassing but I'm glad I didn't actually bring it with me and give him the scarf, only to find out he was being an asshole. I wound up giving it to another coworker who was watching the whole thing play out, and she was super appreciative. I go back and forth between my mom's and dad's house, court ordered, and I have 4 years. I switch houses every Sunday at about 7pm. I was playing in the yard with my dog, waiting for her to get there, and when she did, we drove home. I had just gotten out of the car, and walked inside of my mom's house, when she got a call. She handed me the phone, and apparently, seconds after we drove away my dog had a heart attack and died. They rushed him to the vet, but they couldn't save him, I never got to say goodbye. When our beloved cat developed a cancerous tumor, and had to be put to sleep, the vet asked if I'd like to hold him as he was euthanized. Foolishly, I said that I would, wanting to be with him until the last second of his life, not realizing the emotional impact it would have. I know it sounds overly sentimental, but it felt as though part of me died with him that moment. Even as I type this, I'm reliving it. I went to an interview once where one of the two people interviewing me asked if I knew French. I said I knew core French. So they decided to conduct the interview completely in French. I can understand when someone speaks French to me, I can read and write fluently in French, but I can't for the life of me speak French. It was so bad that one of the interviewers got up and left halfway through and didn't come back. Needless to say I didn't get the job. I've told this story before, but there was a time when I knew I was coming down with what I was sure was going to be an absolute bastard of a cold. Already beginning to feel a little fuzzy in the brain, I decided to make myself some chicken soup in advance to get me through the worst of it. I chopped some carrots, chopped some onions, threw in a chicken carcass, and over the course of about 4 hours made the most bomb ass stock you could imagine. Then my dumbass poured it through a colander directly into the sink. It took me a good 30 seconds before I realized what I'd done. Then I just sat on the kitchen floor for about 10 minutes, gazing at the opposite wall and wishing real life had a CTRLZ function. So my nephew is called Dominic. I have a bunch of nicknames for him like Dom Domi Domitra and Dom is as Dominatrix. Yeah no one for ages told me what it meant. Until my husband explained it to me, when I was talking about him. Like I use that name in front of people no one told me. I feel so stupid now as like dear it's obvious. Thanks for the love in the crack up stories. I feel less of an idiot, for those who are asking to explain what it means. UMM chance whips women dominate are pretty much an SFW. When I was about 13 my dad took me aside one night and apologized for putting so much effort into supporting my twin brother and so little into supporting me. I always assumed he was just smarter slash physically more gifted. Turns out he and my mother had actively and knowingly neglected me in order to encourage my brother's achievements. Happened all through my schooling. They paid thousands for his sporting trips and when I had the same opportunities they just didn't have the money still kills me inside now. I was 15, someone was taking a photo of my girlfriend at the time and I and she goes make sure you don't smile, you're ugly when you smile you look much better when you're serious, don't want you ruining another photo. It was not a joke. 
that killed me so hard I'm 34, and I still struggle to smile in front of people. 5th grade spelling B. I made it to the school wide level, which was the third round in. First I had to beat my own class, then beat the other 5th grade classes, and next was the whole school. My first word was biscuit. Easy. My second word was soccer. Also easy. Except for the fact that I was a bit nervous being up on stage, with the whole school in attendance, including my mom who was there for support. It got in my head a little bit. I heard soccer and thought okay, this is easy. Remember, there are two C's in soccer. Two C's, two C's. Step up to the M-I-C-R-O-P-H-O-N-E asterisk. C. O. Instantly knew what I did. Asterisk F-A-C-E-P-A-L-M-E-D myself in front of E-V-E-R-Y-O-N-E asterisk. Dead inside. Despite this realization, and the fact I had already lost, my brain kept the letters mixed up, and I spelled the rest of the word. S-S-E-R. Cossa. Any Cossa fans here? Or, as you may call it in your country, Budful?